So here again we ask, not only from the book, but from the being, who am I? What's my identity? I'm a woman born in Lebanon, age 75, have an American passport, a Lebanese passport. I'm on the media and all this bullshit. You are not what you do, you are not your body, you are not your age. You don't belong to any identity. Your only divinity that you are never born and you will never die. You are not what you do. You are your being, be or not to be. So why you are here? Are you aware of this being? Are you aware that the truth is in the core of your heart? It's so near, why go far? It's so near. Divinity and infinity, this is our identity. What is my identity? I destroyed it when I knew my real amnes. But my name is only a utility, what you can call me. Hi, hey, how? You call me Mariam or you call me Peace Space or any label. I pick it in order to be together. So I'm aware of my name, my mind, my body. This is not me. I'm not my car. I'm not my house. I'm not the program. Just an energy of light, a vibration, a drop from the ocean, connected with the ocean. Whatever you call me, I say yes. Hi, whore. Hi, prostitute. Hi, saint. All labels, a utility. No matter what is the letter. You are not a letter. You are not a number. You are the stillness of the silence which has no identity. When we all leave the body and we go to the grave, what do they call us there? Do we have an address? Do we have a name? Just a coffin. So we become like nobody, no hearing and no being. and We are not on this planet just crossing the road, a visitor. Do you know the story of the frogs? You know, a few frogs were crossing a river or whatever doing and then fall in the hole of water. And so everybody was telling them, please, die, let go, you cannot survive. Yes, I can. No, you cannot. You're an old one. And look, it's so deep and you cannot swim. And they all gave up, except one started, you know, swimming and swimming and swimming and swimming and then crossed it. How come? How did you save yourself? It's not easy. And the frog was deaf. She didn't hear them. So when the frog said, so be deaf like a frog, don't hear. Don't listen to others. Listen only to your being, to your energy. No matter what is your age, many crippled, and they look so beautiful, but they are dead. And many old people, they are grown up. It's your choice to grow up. But to grow old, it's not optional. It's normal. The body goes back from dust to dust. But your love, not lust to lust, has light to light. And that's your right to be the light. And that's a delightful to be fulfilled in your life. But alone, not easy. You need a guide. That's where we are going now, to Pune, just to be with the Osha family. And not a family like here, mom and dad. The soul family. The soul mates, which is not easy to find. With the soulmate, there is no fear, there is no hunger, there is no death, there is no begging, there is no thank you. I don't feel that, you know, I have to say thank you for you. Giving is receiving. The one who receives says thank you for receiving. Because when I give, I receive it. Which is very rare where we are here in the Arab world because for thousands of years, there is no commune here. It was at the time of Muhammad and then when he left his body, no more commune. But now the communes are more in the east 
more in the West, where there is science, and they are said, okay, what's beyond science? Spirituality. But spirituality alone and the science alone bring them together, and that's the cross. You are just right on the cross, and every step when you fall down, this is a symbol of Christ. When you fall down, that is dawn, then you are more aware and you are more awake.